Hey gearheads, welcome to another episode. Today we're taking a detour from the usual shiny new releases and diving into a potential comeback story, the 2025 Haval H9. Remember that big bold SUV that rumbled onto the scene a while back? Well, it seems the H9 might be clawing its way back to Australian shores. Now, you might be thinking, didn't they just release the Tank 500? Why another off-road beast? That's a fair question. Initially, the H9 seemed to be stepping on the tank's toes, but after a close look, it turns out there might be room for both Titans in the GWM stable. The H9 Reborn, a second look. The new H9 is a complete overhaul. We're talking sleek design, top-notch safety features, and the kind of technology that'll make your inner geek do a fist pump. It's definitely got the chops to compete in the local market. The price is right, maybe. The big question is, how much will it set you back? Pricing is still being ironed out, but it needs to undercut the Tank 500's hefty $66,490 price tag. Here's where things get interesting. GWM might tweak the H9's off-road features to create a price gap and avoid cannibalizing Tank 500 sales. Think of it as a capable off-roader, but not quite an all-terrain champion like the Tank. Petrol power takes the wheel. Speaking of engines, the choice seems to be leaning towards a 2.0-liter turbocharged petrol. Diesel is a bit of a gamble due to stricter emission regulations down under. So will the H9 make a comeback? So will the H9 make a triumphant return? It's not set in stone yet. GWM is still building the business case, but the potential is there. After all, Australians love a good seven-seater with some off-road flair. We'll be keeping a close eye on this one, folks. Stay tuned.